We will start this video with Fifth Harmony giving us a brilliant depiction of the laws of gravity at work. Watching Katy Perry host the VMAs was brutal. I was sitting with my friends and we all just like could barely even look and that is because of something called mirror neurons. So in humans, these neurons exist and they fire when you do an action, but they also fire when you observe someone else doing an action. They're integral to our ability to feel empathy. It's why we cry during sad movies. It's why we get so excited when our sports team shoots and dunks a goal. Oh God, I don't watch very many sports. And it's also why we cringe so badly when we see other people embarrassing themselves. Like since I've been gone, you, you've figured out all of the problems in the world right now, and the world is doing so well, right? <laughs> Everything is fine, great. These neurons are really important to us as humans and as pack animals, but the specific woman seeing embarrassment and having that feeling, the theory is that it's a way for us to learn not to do said thing without having to deal with the social or physical repercussions of it. So we got to chill at home, look at Katy Perry, know we should never ever just keep going with that space joke over and over and over. Therefore we take that in, we don't do that, we learn from it and we become better people. Wanna put your mirror neurons to work? Watch this. I'm back. I wish Thank that there you. was like a bigger audience right? here to get oh, yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, okay, that's too much. Okay, moving on. Pyro means fire and technics means made by art. So pyrotechnics is the art and the science of using materials to make controlled exothermic reactions. This was seriously on display during Kendrick Lamar's performance and the man who was on fire after doing research on this was very much risking his life. Immediately I was curious how they were able to light people on fire and to climb up and down a ladder lit on fire and it has a lot to do with different types of gels. These people likely had sodium polyacrylate polymer all over their hands, their clothes, and it's this kind of the sticky sort of gel that they put on and it holds tons of water. And this stops the fire from actually burning them and their clothes. So now that they are covered in a flame retardant gel, they then can put on something flammable. Likely I think it would be used sort of like kerosene because it has a low flame temperature. So even if it were to hit them, it would burn less. But I don't know exactly what they used, but it looked friggin' cool. The reason that MTV has such a strong space motif is that for whatever reason, they decided that the first image they were ever gonna show on MTV was the Apollo 11 space launch. From there, that's why you have these specific trophies being made. The same company that makes these moon people also make the Oscars, but maybe they need to make their moon people a little bit better because Pink broke the friggin' statue. I just broke it. I, I just broke it. Auto-Tune Live was first invented in 1997 and was made popular by Cher's hit Believe. Anyone who's anyone knows how to jam to that song. So if you use Auto-Tune conservatively, you can help pitch correct. And it can be great for musicians while they're singing at places like the VMAs because it can make their notes sound in tune even if they're a little bit off. But people like Kanye West have actually pushed this technology and pushed the aesthetic so that the Auto-Tune is more obvious and it creates this noise that's really kind of hip and cool now in pop culture, which is seen here by Lil Uzi Vert. A lot of the time pop musicians will have earpieces in while they perform. If they have it in initially and they take it out, usually that's just to make sure that they're on key and they take it out when they know that they're in the right place. Other people might keep it in there for choreo, so they have it in the ear while someone's going, one, two, three, drop it, step, 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 drop it, hit it, hit it, spawn, 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 Maybe that was in her ear, I don't know. And if not, she should call me because I could definitely be her time person man or whatever it's called. The timer, the time caller, the time caller, I could be her time caller. I guess 30 Seconds to Mars kind of alludes to like a science aesthetic, but they actually used infrared thermal imaging cameras for their performance. These cameras are used to detect heat loss from people or detect the change in blood flow in people's skin. But in this case, I guess it was just meant to be cool. Get it? Cool, the opposite of heat, which it was actually trying to do, it was trying to detect heat. Travis Scott was there, okay, so it was cool. I think Kendrick Lamar definitely went all out when it comes to pyrotechnics and to other types of visuals. He used like these really cool lasers at the beginning. And when I was actually researching them, it turns out that they are actually quite dangerous. That's the reason why a lot of the time they are not actually being aimed at the audience. And they need to be moving around really fast so that if they ever were to be static and in someone's eye or something like that, it wouldn't actually hurt them. We see these lasers all the time at concerts and it seems like if you go to a concert without lasers, it's like, why'd you even go? But these lasers can be dangerous 
dangerous. They're a serious thing. So the people who are in charge of the actual lasers and of this part of any light show have to be professionals. They have to have certificates. And the state and the government is involved in how they actually regulate how all of these things work. The VMAs are always really fun to watch. People always go all out, they dress crazy. This was a little bit of the year for cringe, I think. And so it was really interesting to look into how and why we all felt so embarrassed watching them. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on social media and we will see you next week for a new video.